we're gi we're we're giving them the the opportunity to set the date, the time and the place. So, para the burden is not anymore on us; it's on them. Now, this will show that if they're really interested in uh, in debating with us or not. Dahil kailangan natin ichi ihanay ano yung mga track record rin sa usapin ng pagboto sa iba't ibang mga issue. Tapos eh, syempre, yung usapin ng pambabasto sa mga kababaihan. We we know we know people who are there who are very pro feminist, but suddenly kept quiet. And why why did they keep quiet? And this is discouraging a lot of people. So so ito yung mga issues na dapat dapat uh, ipaliwanag nila sa taong bayan para alam natin kung sila ay talagang uh, tatayo at ipagtatanggol ng taong bayan o sila ay tatahimik kung dahil sila lamang eh, kakampi ng ating Pangulo. So do you think up until now their position on pressing issues hasn't, hasn't been made clear? Well, I think the issues have been made clear also. The, the, the high prices, tomorrow gasoline prices are going at least 1 peso in 15 average no? uh, na increase. So here we are seeing again uh, maybe an increase in inflation rate in the next few weeks. So ito yung, ito yung hamon nga. Paano natin mabibigyan ng solusyon sa mas maraming uh, ma nating mga mamamayan na naiiwan, napapabayaan at uh, nalilimutan dito sa ating lipunan. But in terms of where the admin bet stand on these issues, well, which you've challenged them to debate about, do you think that their position hasn't been clear yet? It hasn't been clear. And the question is, if they are now uh, against the train law, then why did they vote for it in the first place? So ito yung... Ito yung uh, Ito yung kailangan nilang sagutin. Hindi naman pwedeng sabihin nagkamali sila. Eh bakit mayroong mga, mayroong mga senador na bumoto tutol, eh nag-aaral rin sila dito sa usapin na ito. Last one, sir. Sir, um, HNP chair, no? And that was something you hard to do. They said that the candidates were willing. But why do you think that they decided not to? Well, I think that's, that's the, for their side to answer. They're putting, uh, they're putting Sara Duterte in an embarrassing position.